The true leader, APJ Abdul Kalam. It was the year 1979. India was preparing for a historic moment, the launch of its first satellite using the SLV-3 rocket. At the center of it all was a brilliant young scientist, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. He and his team had worked tirelessly day and night. Every detail had been checked, every second counted. The countdown began and the nation held its breath. But something went wrong. The rocket veered off course and crashed into the Bay of Bengal. The mission had failed. Dr. Kalam was devastated. He had led the project, the responsibility was his. He prepared himself to face the media and the criticism that would surely follow. But then, something extraordinary happened. The chairman of ISRO at the time, Dr. Sadish Dawan, stepped forward and addressed the press. He said, we failed, but it was my responsibility, not the team's. I take the blame. He shielded Kalam and his team, not from failure, but from fear. He let them learn without being broken. One year later, the same team tried again. This time, the mission succeeded. The satellite was launched successfully into orbit. It was a moment of national pride. At the press conference, Dr. Dewan once again stepped forward. But this time, he invited Dr. Callum to speak. He said, this success belongs to him. That day, Kalam learned what true leadership meant, and he never forgot it. A real leader takes the blame in failure and shares the credit in success.